You're right everyone, Ace Rear from Romany Custom Catapults. So a very nice build to show you all here. It's a over the top or OTT Utah Raptor wrap and tuck. This person has bought catapults off me before and they love wrap and tuck. Now it's a seven layer build. We've got three mil black G10 faces, 1.5 mil brass, three mil white split core, well, I say split core, double white core with half a mil black in the middle. Now, this build, originally I was going to put 1.2 mil brass. 1.5 mil would have got it to the exact thickness I needed this build to be, which is what it is. Uh, but I went for, well, I wanted to go with 1.2 because I believe that's what I had in the shed. And I know it would be easier work, a bit lazier on my part. I ended up using a piece of brass in that that had never been touched before. Lo and behold, it's 1.5 mil. So I ended up using the material I didn't want to use out of laziness uh, and reasons why. That extra thickness. I'm used to doing half a mil liners. I like thin half a mil liners. Uh, they're easy to work with, easy to cut. This was harder to cut. And it's just harder to work with. Uh, reason being, it's hard to get a completely smooth feeling on it. And it's, well, I say hard, it's impossible. Because the G10 as hard as it is, it's softer than 1.5 mil brass. So when you sand him, the G10 will go down, the brass won't. But I think I've pretty much nailed it. There's a couple of places where, like up here, where it'd be near on impossible to get it perfectly level because it's thin parts. But I've done extremely well with the build. I'm extremely happy with it, really happy. The 1.5 mil brass, uh, yeah, you've got three mil of brass in there. It adds a lot of weight, looks really cool. Uh, you can. You can see a reflection in it if you look hard enough. It's big enough for that. They're big enough pieces. Yeah, it's really, it's dominant. The brass in this build isn't subtle. It's dominant. It looks great. You let me know what you think. Do you prefer thin brass, thick brass? I mean, doing these double liners like this would be harder than just doing a three mil brass core, in my personal opinion. Much harder. Much harder to get a nice uh, level feel to it as well. We've got mosaic pins here. Originally, we was going to put a big mosaic pin in here, but they're too big for this style of frame. Wrap and tuck. The black G10, you can see it's smooth there. It's got texture in different places. This particular piece of black G10, the layers of it are quite thin, so it's impossible to get an even pattern all the way over with the way I sand. There's a lot of sand and you can't do it. Uh, I know these particular patches look a little bit grey compared to the black shiny parts, but that is just due to the light. When you take this catapult out the light and look at it in normal daylight, it is black as black. Black as coal, as they should say. But yeah, it just looks... It makes it look grey. It makes it look two-tone almost. But that is just under the light, like I can assure you. Take it out of the light. And it's great. Really nice finish all over. It's a nightmare, this build, to keep clean. I want to get it sent off before it starts yellowing up. Because already fingerprints are coming on it. Even on this black material, you're getting fingerprints. And I'm constantly wiping it to get them off. But yeah, let me know what you think. Even the fingerprint there, that. that. It's a nuisance. Gone. But yeah, we'll get this out and posted. Just really, really happy with it. Great colour combination. Black, white, gold. Looks really, really cool. Really happy with it. But it was an awkward build. I'm pleased to see the back of it. It is just awkward. Uh, but overall, I'm over the moon with it. And I hope the person likes it. Everything's custom to their requirements. Uh, I hope it does them really, really proud. Cheers all. And thanks for watching.